neutrophils are uh, the most important the, the first responders when there is an infection and they're crucial for immune defense. But we have also learned over the last few decades that neutrophils may play very important roles in the pathogenesis of systemic autoimmune diseases, including lupus, vasculitis and others. And my research group has been interested in understanding what is the role of neutrophils, also because we have learned that neutrophils are much more heterogeneous than we previously thought, and certain subsets of neutrophils may play more important roles than others in systemic autoimmune diseases. And we have spent the last 20 years trying to define what these roles may be, uh, both in uh, initiation and perpetuation of uh, these diseases and in the development of organ damage. One mechanism that we consider is important in how neutrophils promote the pathogenesis of systemic autoimmune diseases is through the formation of structures called neutrophil extracellular traps or nets, whereby the neutrophil extrudes its content, the chromatin, bound to granules of the proteins. And when uh, they do that, they can trap microbes, but this may happen in an uncontrolled manner in autoimmune diseases, where neutrophils form too many of these nets, and on the other side, the nets are not cleared properly by uh, the immune system and by other factors. So when these nets accumulate, in tissues and in circulation, they may expose autoantigens to the immune system and then may also promote the development of organ damage and vascular disease. And uh, we have uh, found that this process is dysregulated in patients with lupus and other autoimmune diseases as a key factor to promote its pathogenesis. And the other important uh, uh, part of the neutrophil dysregulation we have been interested in studying is a neutrophil subset called low-density granulocytes, or LDGs. And we have found that these cells represent a pathogenic pro-inflammatory subset that tends to form these nets much more readily. They tend to uh, damage the endothelium. They, can, they have a hard time traveling through the circulation and through blood vessels, and therefore they may get trapped in these blood vessels and cause occlusion. And we have found that in lupus, in vasculitis, and in other autoimmune diseases, these cells are increased, and they, uh, they, we are trying to find ways by which we may regulate their numbers. We have found that if a patient has higher numbers of these cells, they may have a higher risk to develop vascular damage. So we're hoping that in the future we may come up with strategies that may modulate abnormal net formation and at these elevated low-density granulocyte numbers while leaving the rest of the immune system untouched in order to control these diseases in a better way.